Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the third annual fail panel. Um, as you've already noticed, there's been uh, quite a bit of fail so far getting set up, but I think we're in pretty good shape. We're only 15 minutes late. 15 minutes. Oh, in that case, we're five minutes early. Woo! Okay, so. Um, so traditionally what we do is we sort of go through, take turns, and we share our own stories of fail. Dude, she said she didn't want any. Stop. <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, don't be a dickhead. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of fail. When someone says no, they mean no. Unless they say yes with their eyes. <laughs> You said that was just for me, though. Just the old surprise first. <laughs> I don't think you have to introduce the panel. I think they get it. Pop, watch your fingers. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, back on track. So. Um, last year, I, I baked bread on stage, and we decided to mix things up a little bit. So, uh, thanks to a, a last-minute shopping trip by uh, Chris Hoff, Alex Hutton, and Jack Daniel, we have supplies so I can make waffles for you all tonight. I have to be honest. If you eat waffles at a fell panel, you have failed. <laughs> well, I kind of forgot to look up a recipe, so I'm doing this all by eye. <laughs> Don't ask what the secret sauce is. So, uh, it, it, you it could realize be he a didn't fail, wash his hands one. after he touched the underwear, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Chris here is chopping up stuff. I'll, I'll make waffles. Hopefully, they won't suck too much. And uh, we'll be delivering some out to the audience, um, especially for uh, folks who bring us stuff. Those bribes are acceptable. Um, any ninjas who are here get waffle priority since they made some kick ass badges this year. So. And, and that was a total ninja win. oppression. And the ninja oppression. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Know. I'm going to attack you now. And uh, so we're going to get started. I think uh, Rich is going to go first with his fail, and we'll see what goes from there. Stumper. All right. So, uh, you know, my fail is on uh, a couple multiple levels this year, and let's be honest. And, uh, you know, times are kind of tough. By the way, all the slides will be on this side. In a few moments, uh, Chris Hoff will be inter doing interpretive poetry on that side um, once he's done cooking, uh, chopping up stuff here. So we all know times are tough. Uh, this is a uh, graph of the real estate market in Phoenix. Uh, what's the zip code there? 85086. So obviously things are pretty bad. Anyone lives there is pretty fucked. Um, of course, my zip code is 85050, right in the middle of that. I think my house is worth about 60% of what I paid for it. So puts a little pressure on you financially when something like that happens. And then on occasion, other things happen that can kind of fuck up your finances. Um, so <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, I was thinking of changing my handle to sniper. One shot, one kill. <laughs> So, uh, by the way, my wife's eight months pregnant right now. One uh, shot by the other guy anyway. Yeah. <laughs> now, the problem is, is you know, those, those little freaking things like to eat. And, um, well, you know, I'm an industry analyst, for those of you that don't know. So, I'm like, I used to be with, yeah, with That's Gartner. Right I read all that stuff. And, you know, when it comes down to it, we kind of all know what industry analysts do. You take bribes. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, I just sit around and I don't know what the fuck I do. Read the Wait, internet. Wait, do you mean you don't even take bribes? I mean, what? Are you are you th are you that worthless? You're not even taking bribes? No, no. I'll <laughs> Dude, hook me up. <laughs> I have some used panties I'll sell you. Seriously, I just suck too much. I can't get any serious money out of like Oracle or Microsoft or those guys. Or I totally talk about how awesome their products are. <laughs> So I figure it's time to supplement my income. Clearly this analyst gig isn't working for me. And uh, you know, I was kind of looking for ideas and I hear like, you know, underage people like to drink. Um, Wait, where are you going with this? You know, and I, I, I'm kind of thinking that, you know, maybe I could help a brother out. So, uh, you know, like, looked around and I, I kind of had this inspiration. I was in the grocery store and well, well let me go to the next year. So, you know, I used to actually be a bouncer in the bars, and this is kind of how we used to check IDs. I, w I was a 135-pound, 19-year-old bouncer, which I don't know if there's anything more fail than that. But 
I didn't look like that, and neither did anybody coming into my bar, clearly. I thought you'd be bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my coat, sir. You know, and now, how do they check IDs? Well, I was going to a bar the other night, and the guy whips out a bar, a scanner. So, this is pretty much what happens. I pull out my driver's license, and it's happened twice in like two weeks before I came here. Once at the liquor store, and then once over at the grocery store. Um, pull out my driver's license, hand it over when they say to check the ID. They don't freaking look at it. They take it and swipe it through a barcode scanner, and then give me the beer. In my mind, profit. <laughs> so some of you might have seen on Twitter, this happened right before I came out here, um, and I thought I would give this a shot and see what's going on in there when they plug those things in. So let me plug in the scanner. Please. You have a scanner with you? Yeah, thanks to Mike. Oh, God, Mike, I forgot your last name. Are you here? Because if not, yeah. Somebody. Mike, what's your last name again? It was... Cats. I'm like, it was easy, but I had West in my head. Uh, not a keyboard. I don't know why you're saying that, but that's fine. <gasps> let's close that. Now let's see if the demo gods are totally going to fuck with my head. Either way, it's a win. So, if this works right, I have an Arizona driver's license. Now, for those of you who don't know, Arizona is the best fucking state in the union to have a driver's license for a couple of reasons. Unless you're Mexican. Can anybody guess what the expiration date of my driver's license is? 2036. This license expires. So, gets even better. Is the dude in the room, there was a speaker who checked in and I looked at his license, and for the state, it had MA. Massachusetts. Arizona will issue you a driver's license if you're actually living in another state with the address of that state. Oh, this is getting good. So, let's hope this works this time. If I want to be an undocumented worker. So let me pull worker. the window over because I can't look at two windows at the same time so I can highlight the important sections here. But now we're just working at a... Uh... So you're all about to learn my birth date and driver's license number, which is pretty cool. No, no, that's fail. At DEF CON, I'm kind of ballsy like that lifelock doofus. So... Why well, have a credit rating, right? So you can see there, that's my date of birth. I'm like, well, this is getting kind of interesting because it's pretty easy. Um, and I'm like, well, maybe I have a right. You know, if I have a writer, I can change this. Now, the bad news is, is I wasn't able to get a writer in time. But uh, as I switch back here, so I did a little bit more research about this issue. So there's this really cool document that describes all of the details of the standards across the nation for driver's licenses. Uh, and includes these sections like the optional magnetic stripe, because these things aren't mandatory for everywhere. And then if you look at the section for the optional magnetic stripe, it tells you right where the date of birth field is. It's standard. Now, not every state uses this, but most states do because of the Real ID Act stuff. Um, and it tells you exactly where it is. And I looked around a lot in the standard for security code. Do you know what prefaces the security code? No. Optional. State specific. So what are the odds any of the manufacturers of those devices are going to go ahead and put a state, you know, put, check that security code. Fail. Zero. Not going to happen. So this is cool because you can now get a fake ID without having to change your ID on the front. Just take that mag stripe, find a place that you know they're just going to look and stripe it. And if they confront you about it, say, well, fuck it. Just, just run it through the thing, man. I'm old enough. Good to go. Balding. <laughs> I actually didn't start losing my hair until about 30, but we've got Dave. So it happens at a young age, usually after you do things to sheep. And so I'm thinking, Matt Stripe writer, I've got a good career. My head's not the only place with no hair. Yeah. So <laughs> I just flushed it rich a little bit. Wait, so you no, you didn't the, fluster you did, me. I can't find my... Uh, wait, hold on. You did all this work so that you could be 21? <laughs> there is a level where chicks do not like really older dudes and so now I can hit that like baseline drop down about 10 years so, and go. so let me get this straight you're strapped for cash but you now want to give away half your stuff yeah yeah that works So All right, what, anybody what, what, see where I dropped my EVDO card that was wait, sitting here? What, what, so you're going to make yourself like 17 so you can start nailing those younger chicks too? Yeah. <laughs> Did you not listen to my fucking presentation? 
<laughs> not, not really. Where are the questions here? Is it statutory to break you for back strike scans right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. Look, Your Honor, I just I tested it and it said it was cool. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is, man. I know I thought I was 38, but I am like, fuck it. <laughs> there you go. All right. So that was the start to my career. Now I got to find my uh, little friend. Yeah. Your little what? My EBDO card that was sitting here a minute ago. So I can get online. APP. Yeah. Never mind. I'll do you the hard line. Good. I'm gonna plug my laptop in at DEF CON. That's gonna work. Hey, if you could if you could use a a, a pop password, that'd be great. Yeah. We'd like so, to see you on the wall of sheep. <laughs> bah. Add some sprinkles. Oh, sorry. I'm not eating that. I am not eating. You know what? Give me a fork. Let me eat that. So, before I move on to the second part of my presentation, we have to do something special here. Now we have a, a guest here, Mike Auger. Where'd you? Right there. So Mike, stand up, wave to the crowd. Mike has produced this awesome beer. Uh, each one's a little bit different. Most of them have a little bit of coffee in it. It's a wonderful stout, taste of molasses. Um, high alcohol content, I learned. Uh, <laughs> really, really good. Mike did something special. Was that your idea or Bailey's idea for this? Okay, Mike Bailey, who is also right there, um, hasn't sobered up since last night, so that's cool. <laughs> Ran into a 10 this morning. I'm like, dude, you're looking awesome. He's like, dude, still drunk. <laughs> they produce this. Anybody have any idea what's in this? Bacon. bacon. Yes. Some people follow me on Twitter. We have, are, are going to open up the bacon beer. So my original idea was to see who is like psycho enough in the crowd to try the bacon beer. There's one, there's five. Multiple panelists jumped up. So, uh, all right, we've got some cups here. Let's get the bottle opener. I, I don't eat pork, so not not the Jewish thing. Just yeah, her pork like pigs are as smart as three year olds, and my kid's one and a half, and I like her so. Wait, wait. Come on up, whoever wants some. Wait, are you Jewish? Yeah, the first taste. Ladies and gentlemen, Boris Becker. <laughs> It's lumpy. Wow, you people are really <laughs> There's a chunk great. of There's fucking bacon fat. Tomorrow we're making wow. What? I'm gonna go. There you go, man. I am. You know what? Look at this fucking line. Just... <laughs> if Vegas had given me odds on how many people would drink bacon beer at DEF CON. Wait. Panelists. Yeah, panelists next. Sorry guys, there's only so much to go around and <laughs> last one. Wait, wait, wait. Graham so we gotta do something. This is the last beer. one. Who's gonna take their pants off for this beer? Come on, well, yeah. let's go. I'll that take my pants first. off anyway. On the stage. On, on stage. stage, drop trowel. Over here. Over on the side. Over here. Wait, are you wearing underwear? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, so who's willing to pay money to shave his balls? We'll donate it to the EFF. <laughs> Extra family friendly. You want the bacon beer. You have beer. to wonder about it. A little cold beef injection, pork injection, beef is cows. All right, drop your pants, you get the beer. <laughs> Wait, sir, are you over the age of 18? So now you have I to go stand to jail for the rest of the panel, sir. Yeah, Dave, providing alcohol to a minor. I didn't even think about that. I'm really fucking old. Fail. Son of a bitch. Fail. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guys, this beer is fantastic. Bacon and beer, my two favorite things. Now, if I could only make my women taste like this. <laughs> so you know that beer that's in a taxidermied squirrel? We kind of want one in a playmate, and <laughs> too soon. <laughs> Why are you people here? I don't know. We keep betting that it won't get accepted every year. 
kind of like a big joke. So the, uh, the next thing is, is I obviously was looking around for another career, and uh, I thought, hey, I, I read about this money mule shit. And so I thought, maybe I could look at, at becoming a money mule. This is mule porn, and uh, it's a good way to make some money, but not quite the one I wanted. And so I go, well, you know, where do you get started if you want to be a money mule? And I'm like, well, okay, I need to create an identity. So went ahead and I put together a little resume. Anybody watch Burn Notice? You know, yeah. Chuck Finley? Well, I talked with uh, some experts on this, and they said they love single moms. So I did Charlene Finley. She's been out of work for three years. Construction company went out of business. But she's really good with QuickBooks because she worked for the accountant and stuff. Uh, I had been a bank teller for a year. Went to business school, failed out, got knocked up. You know, pretty sad story, actually. Boyfriend abused her. We'll get to that later. Wait, and, wait a minute, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling us about your sex change operation? <laughs> Dude, I'd be the ugly. <laughs> I barely get laid now. If I had a sex change, it'd be all over. Well, I, I'm implying that you were a woman, and three years ago you became rich mogul. Yeah, that's more plausible. So, um, I, I worked out a work history. I put a lot of thought into this. Um, put that resume together, and then I thought, hey, I'm going to go ahead and post this on some job sites. Because everybody told me, as soon as you put... Wait, 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 wait. You're making waffles, and we have no forks. <laughs> You just figured that out? <laughs> That's been sitting in front of you for at least five minutes, dude. Yeah, but I've been looking around for a fork. <laughs> fail! It's not fail if it's intentional. Wait, you know what's funny is we don't plan this stuff either. I mean... Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go figure. So I, uh, I put my resume up on Munster, and everybody told me, you just post a resume like this, and you're going to get like a zillion fucking requests from all these people trying to turn you into a money mule. Posted it, left it up for a while, nothing. So I'm getting pretty depressed, because I can't get a job as a fucking money mule. And um, so I decided to get proactive, do a little bit more research. Wait, are you going to talk about the hits you did get on Match.com, though? Well, that's a whole different mule. <laughs> <laughs> two girls, one meal. Um, so, <laughs> too soon. <laughs> no, two meals, one girl. So, uh, Brian Krebs, he couldn't be out here for DEF CON this year. He used to be at the Washington Post. He does a lot of awesome articles about this. Brian and I are friends. I called him up and we were talking. And uh, um, So, he actually has a Dropbox that he's monitoring for one of these guys. He doesn't know Brian has access to that. So he gave me the email for the known Dropbox. I did a little more research and I found certain search terms to use. Uh, and then I continued to go ahead and look at all the job sites. So uh, I, I found, started finding these sorts of things. I, basically, I went ahead, by the way, and the search terms I used were, you look for payment processing agent or money transfer agent. Those are the two things. So I did a little or bit of work. Or PCI analyst. Yeah, PCI analyst. <laughs> That's not me, so. <laughs> QSA, where's Martin McKay? He needs his hot pork injection to PCI. Okay. So, he's not here? He is not my plus one now to the ninja party. That is over. Um, so, I went ahead, and this is one of the sites, the, uh, the Coral Group Incorporated. This is Hold pretty on cool. Second, Hold on a second, Rich. Hold on. Did you really want to be his plus one? What are you willing to do for it? <laughs> We're going to need more than that this time. Yeah, can you buy like a sheep? <laughs> Squee like a... Anyway, You sorry. sure do have a pretty mouth there, boy. Yeah, shouldn't get so excited about this. So, went to the core group, looked like this great outsourcing thing. I thought, hey, that looks pretty interesting. I found another one, the ITC group. Notice the about the company section. Notice the about the company section. Well, hey, you know, they have these partner organizations, which, by the way, click through to real organizations. This is another one. Look at the partner organizations. Huh. They're templated, apparently. Then I went ahead and started looking for the jobs. There's all sorts of really cool jobs. They're, like, not available, though. Currently not hiring. But the payment processing agent, the computer operator, and the telephone operator all apparently are available. Well, let's look at another site. Wow. Same fucking jobs. That is really, that must be like hard to get. Should be some good money for that. Should be able to work a few days a week. Do a little more analysis. Hey, it turns out these guys apparently are hosted on the same domain servers. Solo Jumper. 
Hey, solo jumper. What about another one I found randomly online? Ooh, solo jumper. Huh, wonder where that's located. Nigeria. So, so this is kind of interesting. And then um, I went through and I looked at some of the FAQs and there was some great information here. I mean, this looked like a really wonderful employment opportunity. They have stuff like the, I'm very interested in your offer, I'd like to know more about the position. And you have to strictly follow instructions, enable permanent contact, flexible hours, fill out payment documents. Well, that sounds all right. How do you get your payment? You get it at the end of every month with direct deposit, you know, after you give them your bank information. No startup fees. They never ask you to spend your own money. This is, this is pretty good. And you don't have to travel. What is the origin of the money? This is pretty good. Money that is deposited into your account comes directly from our clients willing to use instant money transfer service within the United Kingdom and the USA. You will always be aware of exactly where the money is coming from and where it is going. For additional security, we provide invoices with a capital I. They would have gone all caps, but you know, budget. For all transactions completed. Uh, it is not clear why you need payment processing agents. It, it's like they think we're skeptical of this potential employment opportunity that's out there. Isn't it easier to make a direct transfers? Uh, we cater to large companies and their immediate needs for IT services provisions of high expediency of, fuck, can't read that shit, doesn't make sense. <laughs> My favorite, is it a legitimate job? <laughs> Cut and paste, folks. How, Our I, business activity is certified I, by major... I, I hate to interrupt. Who wants Dave Manders' iPhone? Yes, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fiancé. <laughs> I've already owned it. Our business activity is certified by major operations and publishing houses, because Random House should be certifying our financial transfers. On the international market, you're welcome to browse our websites, blah, 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 as well as extracts from our news reports. By the way, if you look on the sides on those, they have like random blog feeds that they've linked in on the side and make them look legitimate. Uh, is there any confirmation the money is transferred legally? What is the hiring process? Do I need an interview? It's all online. It's wonderful. Do you use checking or savings accounts? They can work with both. They actually have different pay scales if you have a personal account versus a business account. If you're willing to sign up at their corporate scale because you can get more money in and it's monitored less, you make more money. Um, Rich, you also have to have your account be at least 90 days. I missed I miss the URL. This is Gartner.com, right? Yes. <laughs> this is the analyst job. Uh, isn't the bank going to say something about so much money going through my account? We hardly ever experience problems. If asked about the funds, simply let them know you are completing a job. <laughs> Why do I have to use my personal account? Because the position is considered to be an independent contractor position. Well, that makes sense. Works for me. Why are you gathering so much information? Such attention, especially to bank account essentials, puts me on guard. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing to see here, man. It's all good. These are not the droids you're looking for. I'm feeling unever, I, I have never read an FAQ like this. It's wonderful <laughs> how much confidence they want to give me. I'm feeling uncomfortable about giving you my online banking details. Why do you need these? Well, we only need view, ac view only access to your online bank account. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to make transfers using online access. It's in all caps. It has to be true. Hey, hey, hey Rich. How do you implement view only access to an account like that? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they, they didn't, that was not provided in the instructions when I was offered my position. <laughs> yeah, how do you start one? Well, move to Eastern Europe. All right, so then I got an email directly from Brian Krebs. Went ahead and emailed that guy, Red Apple Incorp, marketing position. We're going to find out more about this because we're going to call him in a little bit on the phone. And uh, so the site looks good. And I went through and I had to create a fake identity for this. So um, I used my Charlene thing, um, Charlene Finley that I came up with. Um, you know, they, they, they do background checks. They asked if I ever have any criminal convictions. It might not, you know, make, make me not be able to take the job, but they because, want to know. Because they uh, don't want to associate with Then criminal. I filled out an independent contractor agreement, which I had to send in. And so I sent all this stuff in, which you're going to see in a moment. And they also asked for my driver's license. So went ahead. Made the color version of the driver's license. Rich. You know, I thought, it looks Rich. a little fake. You can see the boxes there. So I printed it out, just scanned it in. Looks good to me. Sent Rich. that off. <laughs> what? You used to be a woman, didn't you? I used to be fucking hot. What happened? 
Are you a witness protection? <laughs> yeah. Did you do too much meth? So I sent all this stuff in. Now they also asked for my school diploma. And in the, yeah, we're going to get to that. So. Hope I have online access. This is going to work better if I do. By the way, um, Doncho Donchev's done some great research here. I found it all after I did most of my research. Uh, and he's actually linked these up. So these guys obviously use templating and toolkits. They're also tied in with a lot of the botnet control and malware sites all hosted on the same servers. I know. They're, I don't have it shown yet anyway. So. Rich just typed his Gmail password in. Does, does somebody have that? I'll give you a dollar if you can get it for me. Or Speakers Network. This. Dude, I don't use Gmail. It's the Charlene Finley Gmail. It's all yours, man. Uh, I'll auction it off for the EFF if people want dude, before the end of the night. I'm going to stuff and then see who you've been talking to. So I posted a lot of stuff to a lot of job sites. Didn't get shit for responses until I hit Career Builder. Career Builder is fucking awesome if you want to be a money mule. Um, <laughs> so I posted it up. All right, this is Do not a hot one. you a new corporate uh, slogan? Oh. That's why. <laughs> you know, I always thought this panel was supposed to be about fail, not about the presenters failing. Yeah, let's see if this one works. I had an EVDO card sitting around here. There we go. All right, so this one is from, let me go hey, to beer mode. You just took a beer. He made, my he made the beer, dude. Let me switch this. I'm going to have to mirror. We need a beer guard. <laughs> All right. Is that readable, guys? I'll, I'll give a beer to whoever. All right. So. I'll give it a beer to whoever. I sent in an application that I found online at a fraud site. Chuck Finley. Filled out in real address. Office manager. Voice. Uh, mail. Um, mail. But, uh, phone. Um, Google Voice is fucking awesome for this, by the way. I don't use it for anything else. So, hey, here's my application. I wonder if they're going to, like, interview me or anything. Congratulations. This is Notify and welcome you to the Malvern Company. <laughs> All right. And then they never responded to my other emails and their site got shut down. I'm like, oh, well, that sucks. That makes me sad. So let's see what else is out there. Do so you, I'm going to go ahead and... Do you think you got your job because of equal opportunity? <laughs> <laughs> Equal opportunity. I did say I was a minority. So, uh, okay, where'd the other one go? Here we go. So this was the one that was sent to me by. Uh, this is the email drop from um, that uh, Brian Krebs has. So I'm a single mother looking for flexible work at home opportunities. Attached is my application from your website. <laughs> Good afternoon. We received your application. I am Sebastiano. Notice this name because you got to remember it for when we call him in a few minutes. Wait. So. What's going on? All right. So here's all the requirements: U.S. work authorization, everything else. So I applied. I eventually got to the point of the application. I gave him my references: Michael Weston, uh, Samuel Ash, Fiona Glennan. So uh, these are all different Google Voice mail drops. So if you call them. Now the funny part is I wish I had the chat window. I was talking to Brian Krebs. I was going to use real people for instead of the uh, Google Voice drops. And Brian's like, yeah, give him my real number. I don't care, dude. They are not going to check your fucking references. No chance. I send this email. How many minutes until every, th every one of those Google Voice numbers rang in sequence? Three. Three minutes after I sent this email, he started calling the references. So, well, that got, you know, that might have got him a little bit suspicious because they, I didn't even set up the voicemail or anything on those boxes. I, he wasn't going to fucking call. Why did I think? I wasn't worried, man. So uh, then we went to the next one. So he sends me email. Uh, we got your ID. Try to contact your references. They didn't respond. And, you know, you say you were born in 1981, but that you lost your high school diploma many years ago. This sounds unconvincing. I'm like, oh shit, there was my goddamn DEF CON project. <laughs> I am fucked. I got nothing to do on stage. I don't even have a retarded robot this year. <laughs> so, I thought, 
oh my god, I'm so sorry. Did you leave messages? They're their personal numbers, and they work during the days. And it took Martin me overnight McKay, to send everybody. this, and I lost my diploma when my parents kicked me out of the house when I was 18, and all sorts of bullshit. <laughs> Feel free to call me any time at my other Google Voice number. So at this point, I had forwarded this to Sec Barbie, Aaron Jacobs, who works for IOActive, in case he called um, and set up the number that way. So he did try to call, but nobody picked up the phone. I can call him back. There's his U.S. number. Hmm. Then I said, and we went, basically did a bunch of phone tag. So what happened is he basically told me, I don't trust you, blew you off. And then I'm like, well... I'm done. This isn't going to happen. So yesterday I get a phone call on the Google Voice number and he's leaving a message. Uh, we don't, let me see if the audio will work. It didn't when I tested it before, but. We could hold a microphone up. Yeah, let's do that. Hand me that one. It's got a better pickup. Anybody know where the speakers are on these things? Which side? On a Mac? No, no, the... Yeah, I know, seriously. Right click, right click. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, you can't hear it. Fuck it. You can see it. So, we need someone, I think, to go give him a call back. Since he's left a message yesterday after me blowing this whole thing off. So, who wants the privilege of giving him back? We need a female? Come on up. Wait, does this does this refer to the breast with the part that uh, my really? <laughs> so if someone's cell phone starts ringing, we're going to try this again. <laughs> I have sprinkles. <laughs> oh. uh, feel free to come back. Free. <laughs> Right in the face. Right in the face. Um, hi, Kerry. I would like to have a word with Charlene. My name is uh, Sebastiana Bianchi. Uh, feel free to call back. 347-269-0602. It's from Red Apple Advertising Agency. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Shall I hold your hair back? Not in the eyes. Not in the eyes. Not in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unable to make that guarantee. Yeah, now she gets his name. There we go. <laughs> Would you like sprinkles? All right. We She's need another spitter. girl in a cup. She's a spitter. <laughs> spitter. <laughs> Were you ungrateful for the gift Christopher Haas just bestowed upon you? I'm really proud right now. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Have, so we're going to try our best to get this so that uh, on speakerphone here. So we need everyone to be quiet when she makes the call. I think it'll go to voicemail this time of day, but who knows? You're, are, are you done? Can you talk? I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> we need a fluffer to the stage. <laughs> so your name is Charlene. Charlene. You were born in 81. How old does it make her? 20, 2000. 29. Uh, you're from Phoenix, Arizona. You've worked as a bank teller. You're very excited about this opportunity. Um, and you might possibly be an Interpol agent. So that's your role. Okay. Are you a method actor? We can fake some credentials, do all sorts of shit. All right, here we go. Charlene, I was just calling about the job. I'm really excited about it, so I hope you can give me a call back. I, I want to get in touch with you about this. Um, thanks. Bye. All right. So here's the deal. I know the dude wait, answers wait, wait, the number. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody write that down. Wait. If, wait. Hold on. Your name wasn't Charlene. It's Celine. Celine? It was Charlene. Look, Celine. 
No, that's fucking the voice translation. Come on. Yeah, I know. I've been using Google Voice. That's my real cell. Who cares? So the dude in Eastern Mogul Europe is not coming after me. stylings of Justin Bieber. Um, can somebody tweet that phone number real quick? Because that would be cool, too. Everybody give him, give him a call. Anyway, I think that's the end of my career as a money mule. Oh, wait. I did wait, actually but, get but a job never, offer today. You never did have a career. Yeah. <laughs> God, you analysts. So um, I got multiple job offers on this. Um, the last one I got was today, which was pretty cool. Uh, or yesterday. Yeah, it originally came through on the 21st. She sent me to some sites. Um, so I went ahead and I clicked on those. Uh, first of all, these are the vacancies. Huh, this, uh, yeah, I've never, then I wonder if they're business partners or something. Um, then they have a quiz they want you to take, and this is my favorite part. If you were using a Mac OS computer, please follow this link to complete the registration without taking the test. Which goes to, <laughs> yeah. Because we're smarter. Download the test. Don't worry, if your computer is requesting administrative rights, download the test and simply right click <laughs> on the test icon and select run as administrator. <laughs> All right, who's next? Maynard. Not me. <laughs> Maynard. No, no, I specifically said not me. Come on, Maynard. Nope. I should probably get on my machine because this is going to be funny. Pull out because he needs it. This one? So how's the waffle business going? Does everybody think that uh, Beaker and Mormon are you know, cut out to be shorter uh, chefs? audio back on this. But, but I'm thinking if, if Beaker can, uh, can't hack it as a chef, he can always make it a porn to business. the top of the food chain to eat this shit. <laughs> can we have slides on the other screen, please? Maybe. Going on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did that last year. I'm sorry. Oh, you're drinking last year. I'm in two years. Fried chicken. Right. Hey, what is up with the fried chicken? Oh, one more. I like that. That was pretty funny. Okay, now we're going to yeah. start raising for the EFF. So it's going to be harder. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure you could have done that. So this is, we'll take donations for the EFF for the next year. No. All right, who wants a beer? It's under 21. <laughs> What's that? Who wants a beer? Wait, give me a credit card. What's that? Radio Shack gift card. Radio Shack gift card. Just give me your license. They're still in business? <laughs> so we'll take donations to the EFF for waffles from now on if you wouldn't mind. It would be cool if you could. Okay, actually, so what we're waiting for Larry to get set up. Actually, I mean, he, so he, here, Rich, here's my suggestion. In the so, past, so second. Um, Rich has offered to pull down his own pants in order to get things. So I recommend that if people offer it, that they will take down Rich's pants. pants. Okay. okay, so actually, I have here one, the last unclaimed digital human badge. And I will auction, I will auction this off to a man wearing a suit jacket and shorts for the... <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, stranger. Howdy! I just want to let all you people know they wouldn't let me come back up here this year, and I failed anyways. I only have 9,999 pennies. The grand prize for the 10,000 cent hacker pyramid is a fail. I'm sorry, but please come anyways. Thank you. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> you should definitely you should come to Pyramid. It'll rock. It rocked last year. It'll rock more this year. Um, I have the last human digital badge for DEF CON. The high bidder 
Budweiser doesn't count. We'll receive this badge. All funds go to the EFF. Who wants it? Ten. I hear ten. What do I hear? Twelve? <laughs> Dude, you have to drop pants just for that. <laughs> do it in hex. It's not like an iPhone. Hey. Uh, tw 25. I hear 40. I'm going to try 10. Come on, guys. It was 40 if you want the black hat. You can do better than that. Hey. I have raw eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I hear 60. Come on. It's for the EFF. 80. 90. 80. 80. Nice. Dollars. Dollars. Got 100. 100. Dude, 100 in the back. Okay, we're getting close to the price if you didn't go to black hat. It's still at the discount. Come on, people. I hear a lot of people bitching they didn't get one. So clearly, maybe, you know, uh, maybe just throwing a hand job with it. Not unless Rich still has ninja badges. Nope. Oh, well. No. I, think, I got one of those. I think that was a great offer of David's. Do you want a last minute chance to get into the ninja party? You got to come to Hack the Pyramid because we're giving away a ninja badge. Nice. Seriously. And it even comes with batteries and everything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the shake weight. <laughs> you only got a hundred? I only got a hundred. Oh come on, people. Hundred and twenty. Thank you. Alright. One forty. One forty here. We're now at we're now at parody. Yep. Anybody breaking one forty? I don't have one forty, so somebody better fucking <laughs> Going? Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I will give the entire square of waffles to anyone who oh, beats yeah, that. Oh, yeah, four square. <laughs> Wait, of waffles, yes. <laughs> Come on, please. <laughs> Let's go to his slides and finish the auction after. Uh, no, they no, sit. no, 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 I, no. I bid. I should pay 140 bucks for fucking... No, I got it, I got it. No, 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 right. no, you I paid for all this. I do the fucking... <laughs> going once. You Anyone. fucking pricks. <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's called a fail panel. It's true. <laughs> Going twice. Yeah, great. Give me the fucking <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Chris, I'll buy that from you, 120. But I don't want to hear... A pair of underwear. What does that go for? Are they also Depends. used? Does Rich put it on first? Depends. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Ooh. How would you like me to autograph them, Jack? <laughs> For 140 bucks, we'll let you autograph Mater's balls. <laughs> and that's yes. why we have credit default swaps, my friend. <laughs> nice. Nice. So, moving right along. <laughs> oh, sorry. You are presenting. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. So, uh... My presentation for uh, Fail Panel this year is uh, entitled Fail 3.0, uh, Rise of the Geotag. And I've done some work around this a little bit. But to tell you a little bit about me, uh, for those who don't know, I'm a senior security consultant with NWN Corporation, with NWN Star. After a long stint as manager for IS Security and DR at a healthcare organization in New England, the host of Paul.com Security Weekly, Woo! And it, as, well the co as well as an author of a couple of books that they don't have in the vendor area for Lucky singers. Singers. You know it. Uh, so let's see, pen testing, vulnerability assessment, the only difference is permission. So I love doing lots of recon type of stuff, uh, wireless of all varieties, and some hardware and software hacking. Okay. I'll give you a waffle. Enough about me. It's not important. So some of the related works for, for this fail panel, in the, talk, I've, in the past I've talked about uh, information gathering and recon, document metadata including EXIF metadata, and GPS tracking for fun and profit. So let's put some of these together. A picture is worth a thousand words. Anybody know whose car this is? Adam Savage. Okay, posted by Adam Savage to TwitPic. It's now off to my work in my beast. Wait, how'd that dog get in there? Okay. So what's the story behind this image? So Adam and a friend, uh, Craigie Ferg, decided to tweet behind the scenes photos of their fans. For their fans, sorry. Uh, Adam started, started with a cup of coffee, we'll see that picture later. Uh, the dog, then a picture of the whip, the one we just saw. All of the pictures were taken with an iPhone, and the first three all have GPS coordinates with about 50 feet of each other. My response, thanks to Exif Tool, we now know where you live. Have you ever wondered why famous people never come back to DEF CON? 
I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. We had, we had a playmate here. Oh, today. it gets, it gets worse. That, not that explains why you're here. <laughs> so here's a map. Here's Google Street View. That's awesome. You would think that he would live in a nicer house. Well, that. we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So are we sure this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. So let's look across the street. Does that look familiar to you? No. The picture in the background of the whip and the picture from Google Street View across the street? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So we sent an agent to the house. To Was take this a, a registered agent? Yes. Registered where, I'm not exactly sure. And, well, if we kind of look at the house now compared to the Google Street View pictures, it looks a little, well, more unkempt. And I have a theory why. So I've heard that it looks a little underused and so forth, and I speculate that he's using it to store his collections. So uh, Adam Savage is sort of a well-documented collector, and uh, well, I know folks that have devoted full houses to their collection. For example, Steve Sansweet, he's the, the world's foremost Star Wars collector. He has a 3,200 square foot house that houses his collection of Star Wars stuff. That's all it is, he doesn't live there. Why not just get a warehouse? I don't know. Don't know. So, to look at that, Adam's been known to collect and tweet about things such as, how about a Blade Runner blaster replica taken from his TwitPic stream, disassembled, probably one of the best on the planet. How about a Pulp Fiction ass watch? Yo, your father pulled it out of his ass. <laughs> Amen. And all sorts of other goodies. Yes, this is the coffee cup photo. Oh, no. Uh-oh. All yours. So we, we have an glasses and watches. So, um, is there anybody here that's never been to DEF CON before? I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody senses something important's going to happen. Scanning, scanning. Is there anybody that doesn't have an invite to the ninja party? Oh, uh, I just paid 140 bucks for it. I'm going to let I'm going to let I'm going to let this panel decide. Um, uh, pick me, pick me. Dear, dear God in heaven, I think that disqualifies you. <laughs> I really want, I really want to give this to somebody who's never been to DEF CON before. But, but, um, uh, how do you guys want to decide? Must have breasts. Must have breasts. Yeah. Yeah. But, but wait a second. But wait, wait. There, there, there there's. <clears throat> I, this is not the badge. This is not the badge. This is the plus one. But it does get you into the party, and I just heard that this party, we've taken over an entire hotel, and they said that it runs from 9 p.m. tonight until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So you must be 21. And I only have one. I'm going with the breast thing. Yeah, breast. All the yeah, hands. Breast. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, so no, are I, you I first time DEF CON? And you, these people that are sitting around you, you're not with them? You, did, you would go to the party? <laughs> She's not dating them. You're not, you're not going with me. I'm married. I'm just giving you the invite. This is not, I'm not, this is not a dating service. I think she does protest too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, are you interested? Okay. Oh, God, what a... I am proud to help women advance at DEF CON. Women in InfoSec, yes, that's us, that's what we do. Hey, last year, it was his birthday, it's, it's his birthday this year. Oh, Are you a, drunk? A novel concept. Wow, now, that wow. Everybody's saying happy birthday and it sucked. It Feliz was like so pathetic. And he thought nobody oh, liked him. Christmas. What's his name? Scott. Scott. We don't like you, Scott. All right. So. Happy Scott. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, Mr. Lowest Team Guy. Happy birthday to you. He can go off his meds now. Corbin. Corbin. But, uh, Stop the breast. Oh, whipped cream shot. I, oh. Mwah, come on, sweetie. Are you gonna eat just that? Arch your head back and just. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Are you gonna eat that? Everybody, everybody, everybody. Oh, let's that's see. Josh, 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 Josh. Oh man, that's just wrong. Give you some. That's just, man, you analysts can be <laughs> peer pressured into anything. <laughs> wow. So I think this slide sums up all of this. <laughs> Wait, our boy here is out getting some digits. Is this a DEF CON love match waiting to happen? <laughs> so let's get, let's get ridiculous. Sorry. So silly me decided I'd scrape images from TwitPic, because, well, that's where Adam's pictures came from. But Johannes Ulrich beat me to it with a script while I was writing mine. Unfortunately, Johannes didn't catch every one of the sequentially alpha numerically numbered pictures, so I fixed it and started downloading pictures. Johannes noted that only about 2.5% of the pictures had uh, GPS metadata info, but my data says about 3.3%, because I'm getting all of the images. So about now I've scraped 1.1 million images from TwitPic over three separate internet connections and three servers and put them all back together. And I'm pushing just shy of one terabyte full of images. Holy crap. Yeah, so Larry, aren't you violating TwitPic's terms of service? I was just about to ask that. No. And there's an asterisk there because I'm not a lawyer. But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. I thought that said anal for a second. Nice, nice. So if you have a clause in your terms of service that's incorrect, that clause is invalid, right? I mean, that's the way I see it. Take, for example, this. Wait, wait, wait. We have lawyers in the audience. Yeah. Is that correct? Close? Okay. So take this. February 12, 2010, about the time I start, uh, a little after I started scraping the images, it says improper use of data. So let's look at it a little closer. I rest my case. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Are you making fun of people who can't spell? No, we have no. No. Are you sure? Yes. All right. <laughs> because it gets worse. So about four months later, they updated it after I had scraped 1.1 million pictures off a of TwitPic. So now it says, improper use of data. They fixed the scraping, so now I can't scrape. But it says, using any data from TwitPic that's not available through authorized channels is also prohibited. Is not a web browser going to TwitPic an authorized channel? That's what I used. Thank you very much. Storing, saving, or retaining images of any size is also prohibited. Uh, browser cache, proxies, and system memory. I can guarantee that 100% of folks that use TwitPic violate their terms of service, as written. So no, I didn't. Okay, so here's to not having your terms of service reviewed by a lawyer. But it gets better. Define user. By using twitpic.com, you signify that you accept all this crap. At no point during my scraping have I ever logged into this service. Ever. So now I'd argue that the terms of service don't even apply to me, even if they're bogus. Wait, let me, let me ask you a question real quick. I, I think I see where this is going. Did you get a blowjob in the Oval Office? I don't recall. <laughs> Can you define the word is? I don't recall. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, your next Democrat president. So are those condoms? So by the original intent from February to June, I'm sh not sure that I'm allowed to scrap my data. So who really failed here? Hold on a second, hold on a second. We, 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 we keep getting jacked with beer here. He made the beer. He made it. He made that beer. Now he's Oh. Don't tell anybody. Too late. So now... 
Super I print. need to retain one terabyte of data ad infinitum. So I'm not exactly sure who's getting this. So if you're gonna fuck up anyways, you might as well fuck up in such a way that it leaves wondering how the people people wondering how the fuck you did that. Wait, how did you, how did you, how did that happen? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> that's not that's not your wife. No. Oh. So now, how the heck do I sort through 1.1 million images? A lot of time and effort. A shell script or three. And well, I really only care about the geotagged ones, so I move them to a separate location, Google Earthify them because that makes them much easier to look at. Great, I've gone global. It's really boring crap. Food building kids, and well, yeah, I want something infinitely more interesting. Same reasons why we're offering whipped cream shots. Huh. So do you think we can find out where she lives? Wait a minute, I'd like to point out how sexist this panel is. Wait, no, 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 no it's not. No it's not. So yeah, we can find out where she lives. <laughs> oh, it gets better. Seriously, she lives in the middle of farm country. There is one house within miles of here. So you're saying she likes cows? Yes. But it gets better for, those, for the sexist panel. So in a great day for TwitPic research, Kazum Sadiki stated, many women who do not dress modestly lead to young men, lead young men astray, corrupt their chastity, and spread adultery in society, which increases earthquakes. <laughs> and resulted in a great experiment. Boob quake. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> Show him. Show him. Wait, no, 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 no. Where's the whipped cream? <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> Who's gonna come clean it off? Have you ever taken a joke too far and then it starts getting <laughs> <No>. uncomfortable? <laughs> Rich, here's my room key. I'll see you later. <laughs> it won't go in your eye. <laughs> I know it'll never make it that far. Oh, so now I have a little bit of content and location and stuff you might not want your mom or dad to see. Some, well, partially exposed breast. So, however, TwitPic doesn't allow you to have any adult content, right? As no porn. That sucks. So, you know, read the TwitPic Terms of Service. Right, okay. So let's go for the whole hog. More on that later. We've got at least one more Twitter image hosting service to capture from as well. YFrog. But again, same thing. No more adult content. So let's try Sexy Peak and Twit Sexy. So when there's a hole in the market, someone comes to fill it. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> So, as a result of all of these types of things, we, a uh, buddy of mine, Ben Jackson, and I came up with a product, a project called ICanStalkYou.com. <laughs> so, we use the public Twitter search API to grab tweets and images from TwitPic, YFrog, and TwitSexy, checks them for GPS metadata. If they don't exist, move on to the next one. If it does exist, extract it and run through geonames to get an address. And then send an at message to the user who made the tweet with their location. In two hours, our Twitter account got suspended. <laughs> two hours. So we have it back after much pleading, and now we only tweet one random person from the last hour. And we post everything to the website for a successful geotag image. So we only at tweet someone back, but we post everything to the iconstockyou.com website. Response has been mixed. Some of them are like, yeah, no shit. I just told you where I was. Some of them were, Oh, I didn't know I was doing that, which we tell people how to fix it. And ultimately, the whole project is about uh, arming folks with information so they can make informed risk decisions. Uh, and Ben Jackson just spoke at Hope on this whole project in detail, and he's got re release of the tools, data sets, and all that type of stuff at mayhemiclabs.com. So if you guys want to play with this as well, uh, please do. So this is uh, our TwitPic suspension. We fail at internet. So let's talk about TwitSexy and SexyPeak. Wait, These what? are places what? for amateur porn gold mines. So, uh, unlike TwitPic and YFrog, uh, their content upload is actually slower, so we can actually scrape the entire content, and I have several times. <laughs> Wait, have you scraped yourself to this content? No. Oh. Well, maybe once or twice. <laughs> Today. <laughs> so. In these cases, I mean, think about some of this stuff. If you're posting your amateur porn images, 
and they're geotagged and they're public. Well, I often found stuff like this. Yeehaw. Wait, 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 wait. Is there anyone under the age of 18 in this audience? No, get out. No, wait. <laughs> wait, first of all, why would you be under the age of 18 in this audience? Second of all, who would admit to it? Don't worry, it's not on the video. Is that better? Well, I often got that. I also got this. <laughs> I told you I was going to go whole hog. And sometimes I got a little bit of both. Do you want me to unblock this one too? Yeah. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, I can't do it. Baby. <laughs> not yet. Now, now not none yet. of you can die saying that you have never seen pterodactyl porn. We got plenty of chicken. See what I have to do to myself in the name of science? Wait, how is, uh, how is pleasing your six sexual fetishes? What's that? Oh, we'll get to that. <laughs> Steve, I always Man, have I an answer like to your question. This is the first date where a girl keeps going, if you buy me dinner, if you buy me dessert, if you so, buy me a teddy bear. Yeah. yeah. So whoever brought the eye bleach, can you please share? Because I need a whole lot. <laughs> so now it all depends on what you consider fail. I'm not exactly who had to fail on that one, but I suppose it all depends on your tendencies and fetishes. So I went for the South Park approach and decided for, to fail for as many people as possible. Wait, and if you can't that? laugh at someone else's misfortune, who can you laugh at? Okay, so let's bring this full circle. So now I'm back to the problem of who do I want to stalk or observe? I mean, yeah. So how about some interesting person, people? And I don't want this douchebag. So let's, how do I find interesting people to find? Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? Yeah. Okay, that's one. Let's do better than that. I want pictures for specific individuals after all. So how about we get Twitter to tell us? How about we use Twitter, Twitter's verified accounts and use the list that they publish for folks for us to start downloading images so we can potentially stalk folks like Adam Savage. So there are just over 1,500 verified accounts. And in 2008, this is a stalker. Right? So now we can access all of these images using uh, Tweepy, the, the Tweepy API, which gives us a nice list of all the verified accounts. And I'm going to release a tool on this coming soon. It's not finished yet. But we can now just pipe this info into a TwitPic YFrog single user image downloader, which Ben Jackson actually re released over at Mayhemic Labs. It's called Stock. And he presented on it at, Sto at Hope as part of his presentation. So now that's an epic fail when you can't even spell failure correctly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is the second time you've made fun of someone's spelling. And as a spelling challenge individual, I take offense to that. <clears throat> Shocker. So moving right along. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> That's all I've got. Shocker. Shocker. I know someone that just recently had to explain that to their mom. Thanks so much. Yes, Darren, I mean you. So uh, that's all I've got for fail, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and Try I hope you guys quit. enjoyed the pterodactyl porn. <laughs> this is how you can find me, and I'm expecting my Twitter followers to jump by about two after this. Wait, try explaining MILF to your mom. Wait, your mom? I, I, I'd be happy all to right, explain wait, wait, it to your wait, mom. Wait, give me your number. <laughs> So you, you joke about that, but actually I had the experience with my sister. Okay. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Shocker for you. <laughs> Never mind. You can't leave that. Because you, you, leave, you use these words of conversation, right? You, you, you say MILF and you forget that some people are kind of like, not like us. And, and so you use a conversation and she says like, what does this mean? And it's like, 
Um, <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> did, did you use the word DVDA? Oh. That's D A D. Oh, wait. They can't spell it. <laughs> Logan, get your shit out. Wait a minute, that didn't sound right. <laughs> oh, right. Don't worry, I'm not talking again. I'm fucking done. What did you want to do with these? Oh, no, wait, that's going to be good. Let extra, me uh, set the laptop extra up. Extra firm control. So. Control top. Satisfaction guaranteed. Is it ripped for his pleasure? Ripped for his pleasure. Wait, Rich, you already had a Hey, turn. what is this part for? <laughs> oh, shit. Martin McKay. <laughs> Martin McKay. <laughs> Four years of journalism school. Fantastic. Coming out of nowhere. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was, fuck, I'm just blown away by that. That was awesome. Just wipe your nose. Hey, wait, it's the wait, same wait, smell you get from PCI. By the way. All right, can we swap the video again? Uh, what? Do we have slides? Come on, tell me this fucking works. Oh, whoa, that's good. That's good. That's good. I can't help it. All right, video dudes, we got another uh, fail. 800 by 600. 800 by 600? Wow, I read. Wow. Let's try it again. 800 by 600. Throw you a waffle. <laughs> All right, really we're good. Oh! oh! Five second rule! <laughs> again. So I'm sure this will screw up uh, our snake slides here, but. <laughs> where's my beer? <laughs> Is it just me or they pick the right guys for this fail thing? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Thanks, we got it up. So uh, before we do Whoa! The Whoa! That's a whole different gun in the air! Big stands. Uh, before we do that, uh, AV bitches. We need a volunteer. Listen, world's largest safety dam. We need a volunteer with very low self esteem. Or high self esteem. <laughs> All right, yeah. They're pointing at each other. Wait, Come does, on, folks. Does anybody here have. Come where you guys appoint? Come on up, Tim Kravick. Yeah. Where's the whipped cream? This is gonna go over really well in the. Jesus Christ, the guys. <laughs> okay, step one. Fill this. Oh no. <laughs> Can you not do it over my MacBook? It's this over time? here. It's over here. <laughs> Aren't you glad you came this year? Oh yeah. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> Never mind. One moment. One Step, moment. Two. Step two. Chocolate it. sauce. <laughs> now I know what that part's for. <laughs> it's a special time of the month. Oh, 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 don't forget the nuts because <laughs> because there's nothing like a. Yeah, we're good. So who can guess what's next? <laughs> Step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that the uh, by the way, Tim is an advisor those. in my kids hacking uh, conference I'm putting up in October. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Tim. All right, all kinds of fail. So, um, uh, if you ever uh, try to go to a Baptist university, turns out all they sell is Viagra these days. So I'm thinking, you know, that's a pretty good place to go. Uh, I started doing some more research on this, and it turns out that uh, pretty much every university on the planet is selling Viagra. Boy, I it's went to dripping, school. It's dripping, Rich. I know it's dripping. That's a cheap It's a common occurrence. <laughs> On the floor? Aren't you a goon? Oh! oh! What the fuck? I told you, Gallagher, you didn't listen. <laughs> Man, those industry analysts. Jesus. So, how do you argue with this logic? They don't, they don't use it, so it's good, right? They don't use it. Wait, where did that come from? An anonymous what? CFL? Yeah, oh, they don't CEO. use it. They don't use it. 
No, I'm not well, going to say God. the CEO. No, he, but they don't use it, so it's cool. Uh, here's another one. Um, I agree that we should pay more attention to the cross-site scripting. All user inter, uh, input should be sanitized, particularly if the reader is genuinely trying to find phrases containing HTML characters. It would be so nice to show them a broken layout. You, just, you really want to give her a hug, don't you? Laura, oh, she's so sweet. So um, I, I was posting about malaria, um, the malicious RIA proxy, and I ended up on the malaria spam bot somehow. Um, I don't think they expected to see me on there. But now I'm added, so that's kind of sweet. Um, <clears throat> anyone see a problem with this? No. I can't really see it. <laughs> lorem ipsum delore read more the funny thing is I clicked I didn't get any more lorem ipsum I really did I was actually kind of excited to see it but it, it wasn't there so uh, here's my joke of the day why do computers have more than one core why rich antivirus because wow <laughs> I think this was fail. <laughs> oh, you male. Yeah. I've had a lot to drink today. A lot. Much like every other fail panel. You know, the funny thing about this fail panel was you're supposed to do each other's slides, so I was expecting, oh, it's a good thing I don't remember anything I was going to be talking about. Guys. <laughs> So there's a company we're doing a little work for, and uh, they have a crap load of expenditures in all kinds of different places. Uh, $100,000 in firewalls, uh, uh, $80,000, yeah, yeah, fuck you. Wait, I, I just wait. said, I just wait. said I drank a lot. Do you, uh, do you work for BP? BP? $80,000 in corporate compliance audits, blah, blah, blah. He didn't answer. It's because I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> And twenty dollars in locks for the doors. So, so this is what the gate looked like uh, when the two cars filled with uh, four people each smashed through the gate. This is what the uh, outdoor window looked like when they smashed through it with a sledgehammer. This is what the one of the interior doors looked like when they smashed through it with a sledgehammer. This is what one of the more interior doors looked like. Again, sledgehammer. Guess what they used to get into there? <laughs> uh, a wrench. And that's what's left of the server rack. So you see, it had nothing to do with cross-site scripting. <laughs> PCI compliant. Total of $102 plus shipping and handling. <clears throat> So I started looking at this thought personal email certificates. Um, I'd never actually seen it before, surprisingly. I thought, I, you know, it seems like it's kind of out there and like I should know about it. And I just found it like a couple months ago. Um, but so I kind of have this hard on to like screw with thought for a while because they totally screwed me with this whole like uh, personal email certificate thing, which they like revoked on me. And so I'm like, you didn't hear about this? Oh, they, they just randomly shut it down. <clears throat> the reason for it is that it's expensive to do security. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I started looking at thought. Uh, then I started doing more looking at thought. And then more looking at thought. And I realized thought has no clue what they're doing at all. God damn, Arsenic. Uh, <laughs> Why are you always trying to make fun of people who just do their job? <laughs> They're so good at it. Why are you a hater? <laughs> so I started like analyzing how this company actually makes money. So they give you a service and you pay for that service. So what are you exactly what are you getting in return, right? It's kind of should be a good thing. So um, number one, they display the number one trust mark on the internet. 
uh, the Verifying Trust seal on apparently on search engines. Has anyone ever seen this? Ever? One, two, Yo. three, four, five. Okay, okay, I guess, I guess it'll be. Oh yeah, exactly. No, it's on search engines. That wouldn't be on my site. So stands out in search results. Uh, okay, that's kind of the same thing. Uh, protects visitors and your site from malware. So it scans your site for malware so that when Google comes and scans your site for malware, they'll find it first. So they're believing that they're going to be better than Google at scanning your site. They're going to catch it before Google does, alert you, you're going to fix it, and then Google won't mark, mark you as a malware site. So let me get this straight. You're Except for the that fact that Google probably wouldn't have found it in the first place if they're going to be the ones finding it, right? So you're singing Google's praises? No. <laughs> I'm uh, definitely I mean, not doing that. You just said how great Google was at finding stuff. Uh, they're, they're pretty excellent. <laughs> Those guys rock. Every time our snake says Google, a kitten dies. <laughs> Anyone work for Google here? Would you really no? raise your hand if you did at this point? Yeah, really? Oh, you liar. <laughs> I'm not uh, 21 either, are you? <laughs> I met someone who worked for Google once. Yeah? Yeah. It was great. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> yeah, no, I think they were a PhD or something. <laughs> they had to solve one of those quizzes on the billboard. That's where he got the panties. S they confirm your identity, apparently, and they offer free technical support. So congratulations. You can pay $300 a month for that crap. How much does something like this cost? Our snail. At 300 yeah. Three, yeah. Nice. 300 bucks a month. Or, wow. No, sorry. 300 bucks a year. Wow, I misread that. Yeah, good deal. Yeah, exactly. So um, I just had to bring in the narcissistic vulnerability pimp here. Uh, but one of my favorite parts about this is we really need to clean up our language. And then Fucking he posts Fucking A we that. do. In that order. Not like one after the other. Oh, that guy's awesome. I love that guy. Snake Oil. Named after me. LifeLock. Love this guy. God. I wish I could be this guy. This is so awesome. He makes a shitload of money getting owned. This is awesome. Except for that one instance. It's so you guys know he was convicted for identity theft against his own father, right? <laughs> really? Yeah, is he? for real. Is that where, That's awesome. Is that where he got the idea for <laughs> LifeLock from? <laughs> huh. If the government wants to send me to jail for this, maybe other people will pay for it too. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, that guy's awesome. So my favorite fail for this year, um, I know it's not technical, but my favorite one was BP. Those guys are awesome. Man, holy crap. So first of all, they say it's 5,000 barrels a day. Then it's like 12,000. And then it's like 35,000. And then it's like 100,000 a day. And then, so what's the difference? But there's no plume because oil floats, so you don't have to worry about that thing, right? And then it sounds an awful lot like, you know, the definition of what is is, you know, what's the definition of what a plume is? <clears throat> so I uh, did a little Unix. We need another volunteer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we did a little uh, uh, modification on our system here. Found a little tar. Did a little link. And so now we can uh, make tar balls with BP. <laughs> That's our junk shot. Oh, yeah. yeah, they photoshopped the porn off the screens of their response uh, <laughs> headquarter photos. Mr. Graham or Mr. Maynard, either. Mr. Graham is up. Now, Dude. I'd like to tell everybody a funny story about Mr. Graham. He torments me on a daily basis in Atlanta because he sniffs everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Sorry. And we'll be sitting at lunch in some place like an Arby's. And he's like, hey, Dave, how many people do you think have laptops in here? And I'm like, gee, Rob, I don't know. He goes, well, here's one jackass named David Maynard's local PC. I'm like, fucking hey. Well, Dave's doing my talk for me. Uh, one of the funny things about what I do, so one of the things, I, a couple years ago, I created a... <laughs> Wait, what is that? So... <laughs> so 
so I created a presentation. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. I got the looks. Rob got the brains. Oh no! Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I have a pretty redhead fiance over here. She's wearing a black dress. Fuck you. So speaking, speaking of fiancés, so my good friend uh, Robert Lee, uh, he got drunk at around 6.15, like super drunk, like flights of beer kind of thing, and he proposed to his wife over SMS. <laughs> Was he down on one knee? She hasn't responded yet. <laughs> well, he should be here for the epic fail. <laughs> you said proposes to his wife? <laughs> Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> it's better than proposing someone else's wife. Wait, uh, is she his fiance if she hasn't responded? <laughs> <laughs> so, Dave, how long have you been engaged now? <laughs> Just fucking man up! <laughs> Here and now! You're gonna set a fucking date. Take off the panties, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, 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 you've always wanted. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh yes, capture this on video. So look at him. Look at her. He's a priest. Would a fail be fucking around with the situation? <laughs> Dave, you do realize there's a chapel right down the hallway. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Uh, he's fucking. All right. Let's narrow it down to a month. We'll give you that. No pressure, D. Do we have a minister in the house? I have never seen Mater speechless. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. That's a win. So I'm not getting laid tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. I'm going to be masturbating to uh, slides from the I'm fell like panel. <laughs> this shit is legally binding. She's a lawyer. <laughs> Dave, you want to borrow my twin pick images? So, wow. This, this woman is the love of my life, and she's a natural redhead. And what I'd really like to do <laughs> right now is listen to Rob Graham's speech. Yes. All right, you fucking marry her then. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're taking donations for the EFF. <laughs> Wow! That was fucking awesome. You people all suck. <laughs> but you swallow. Oh, yes. So, so I wanted to get up here and throw David under the bus um, for a complete, for a different reason, and now I feel like I'm, I'm gypped. Um, so, one of the things is is that um, Dave Maynard, one of the things he's famous for is for as for his uh, Apple Goat Wi-Fi porn. bugs. And they're really easy to reproduce. Anyone with a, who does any sort of uh, fuzzing can reproduce the bugs, right? But Apple lied and said that they didn't exist, right? So this is fairly a well-known story in the hacking community. And so David's like kind of pissed off at Apple. And over, to, over the years, we've been like finding Apple vulnerabilities and hacking the Apple machines and having fun with that and kind of being pissed off. Yet David can't resist being an Apple fanboy. Can you hold up your phone, David, that you have right now? Did he not lose this one? <laughs> so, uh, how long were you in line waiting for that phone, David? So, let's talk about that date. <laughs> so, I'm, I would, I would love a nice June wedding. <laughs> I think, I think my hair would look good in the the sun. What do you think, Rich? My, my so, hair. Dave's in line for several hours waiting for that iPhone 4 to come out. And he's tried, over the years, he's tried to give up his, his iPhone because he's gone with the iPhone the first generation, the second generation, the third generation. And he's tried to go to the Droid or to some Windows mobile phone or some other phone, but yet he always seems to come back to the iPhone. Hey, Elizabeth, what do you think about some kids? So... <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, two or three? Mine or yours? <laughs> oh! Oh! Wow! Hey, look, look. 
I've already told you, those kids from Brazil are not actually mine. Where the fuck do you go from here? Really? Uh, how does your relationship just uh, evolve from this, this, this thing of mutual trust, admiration, love, kind of tender spirit? Okay, so anyway... We go so to the ninja party. <laughs> That's so, where we... Beyond talking about Dave, so I, I, can we switch to this? Is there a... There's a secret. There's a secret? Yeah, first of all, don't throw your friends under the bus. <laughs> Well, see, so Dave and I often give talks, and that's usually the way I start them is by throwing Dave under the bus. So he usually is talking about how I keep hacking into his Wi-Fi stuff, and that's often pretty fun. Would you like to tell them about Wayne Brady, or should I? What? Wayne Brady. Oh, yeah, so one of the funnest things is that, so we're in Vegas, and then um, a mutual... So David always, so I, I do actually get into David's email, but I actually never read them, because that's just the sort of guy I am. So Dave, we're in Vegas, some black hat, and David's going to see Wayne Brady, but he's just getting tickets. But I think it was like Elizabeth or another friend of ours were talking on the phone, and she told me that Dave's going to see Wayne Brady, but he never told me, so he didn't think I knew. And he had just gotten an email notification that he did, the tickets had arrived. And about, I don't know, five seconds later, I text him saying, like, Wayne Brady's a triple threat. So Dave's convinced, of course, that I'm actually reading his email and, like, have hacked into it. That's not really funny. That's, so, and also, this is a true story. <laughs> this is what I live with every day. So, and, he, like, he, he gets an email notification back from, like, the person he bought the ring from or the company and uh, for, for Elizabeth. And then I, I mentioned, like, when are you getting a ring for Elizabeth? Now I'm just joking. Like, I don't know when he's getting a ring or proposing or anything like that. And um, so, of course, again, he's convinced I'm, I'm reading his email. And fortunately, over the years, there's nothing I can do to convince him that even though I hack into his email on a regular basis, I actually never want to read what's in them. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. If you get a blowjob and tell the girl to stop before you come, I will then believe you don't read so the email. <laughs> No, I'm, no. Oh, you put down two things and you right-click? Man, this was the suckiest fill panel ever. God, that's saying something. Oh, click on that there. I'm going to show you all my nipples if, he, if this keeps up. I'm just going to take my shirt off. I click extend. Sorry, I'm using Windows here. And here's a fail. Mr. Robert Graham does not know how to use Windows. Okay. Windows. So, so that's so. I want to talk about Dave, of course, to, to throw him in the bus. But I didn't really have much content here. I sort of drawn into this in the last minute. Literally last, so literally last minute. Little do you know that Rob Graham is actually a highly paid PowerPoint template designer. <laughs> And this is the Nouveau Riche PowerPoint template. It goes template. under this screen, though. P. Diddy uses this one as white parties. So we'll just do, deal with this. So what I've been running here during while we've been uh, talking is a little... You know what an evil twin is? It's when Jesus you, Christ, you're running it here? Yeah, so I'm running it live. So, so Dave's paranoid because we get to a bar, and so here's what happens. We, we, be in a, we meet at a bar, like maybe at Hooters or something, and we sit down, and I pull up my laptop, I open the cover. At that point, David says, oh shit. He checks it, pulls out his phone, makes sure the Wi-Fi is off on his phone. He pulls out his laptop, makes sure the, the Wi-Fi is off on his laptop. Otherwise, I'll get into his email again. So anyway, I want to talk about evil twin stuff. Um, because I've been doing Wi-Fi monitoring for a while. And if, you one want, the, if you want his iPhone, it's right here. I can send it to you. <laughs> I already own it. I mean, there's no, <laughs> I don't need physical access to it. <laughs> So, uh, we, we talk about Evil Twin, and, and Rich actually... <laughs> so, so, Rich demoed this a couple years ago, so I thought I'd do a similar sort of thing, because with cell phones, a lot of people have Wi-Fi turned on. And so, actually, in this audience, there's about 50 or so people that have Wi-Fi on their cell phones turned on. And so, we had... Five, 40, 35... Yeah, I don't know the exact numbers because my. 
<laughs> six. Let me uh, let me pull up what. So. Um, yeah. I wait for the light this time. Is that flight of the Valkyries? So this is the results of what my well, this computer of monitoring before the battery died. Actually, I save it to a file and then reparse it. So here is a list of a lot of the phones that people have in the audience. And there's actually a lot of them. Now, of course, they're from people walking by in nearby rooms, so it's not everybody in this audience. So what the evil, but it's not an evil twin system. What I've set up is, is that every Wi-Fi probe that goes out goes and this system responds to it and says, yes, I am that server. So if you try to connect to XYZ PDQ, it says, yes, I'm XYZ PDQ, and then you connect to it. And, if, and so the, the problem with your cell phone is, is, they don't serve. is that you don't know which, what, where, is, where the net, network access is coming from. So you pull out your, web, your phone, you go to a website, you run an app, and you're not really clued into the fact that it's not hooked up via Wi-Fi to your home network, XYZ PDQ, but it's actually connecting through my little evil twin type thing. And I call this e evil cousin because I'm not replicating, for example, the DEF CON network here. I'm actually just replicating what, whatever f home system you have. And so uh, I thought that was an interesting fail because um, you know, we're in a conference here with people that should know better. There is a ton of it. This is, by the way. I can't really see this. That fell right that? there. Uh, Wipe he, eyes off. Thank you very much. He has learned his lesson by now. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Run, Forrest. Run. <laughs> <laughs> now, see what Dave doesn't know? While sitting here, I just became an ordained minister. <laughs> You think I'm kidding? Universal Life Church Monastery, Lawrence. Is that really your name, Lawrence? Uh. So, so in, in this audience, it was like I don't know, maybe a hundred people on that list. But when you go look at the the, the full uh, conference, I can't really operate this very well. <laughs> As I told you, I don't need physical access to it. Who else wants it? So we're auctioning it off for the EFF, targeting hundred dollars. <laughs> Never. <laughs> so anyway, back to my stuff. <laughs> So, oh, so for the last couple hours, um, starting about about an hour before this thing started, it's about 1,500 people of just around all of um, Black Hat, I mean uh, DEF CON, that have their phones with Wi-Fi turned on. And so I thought it was an interesting fail that as people go to DEF CON, why do you go with your phone with Wi-Fi turned on? And I, I, I still have no answer for that. So, Wi-Fi on right now. <laughs> no. No, I no, but it's like page after page after page of people that um, are, are probing for, for various Wi-Fi access points. That's Justin Bieber. And if you look at the devices here, they're actually they're mostly mobile uh, Windows mobile phones, Apple's and, and um, Androids and the like. Anyway, so that's all the two. That's the two fails I had was uh, Dave Maynard uh, fanboy and um, and this all the fact that all the Wi-Fi on people's phones are turned on. Yes. Yeah. Two people all suck. So uh, I'm going to the bathroom. I've just been offered five hundred dollars to the EFF if Dave and Liz tie the knot tonight. <laughs> You know, this week I saw a great headline on CNN that said, EFF has big win in jailbreaking case. I'll it add said, another 500. And I said, oh. 
tonight. Why do you hate freedom, Dave? <laughs> I'll put in another 500. Run, Dave, run. <laughs> Can, can somebody get Hold catch him? Hold on a second. Because I think he's. We got a runner. We got a runner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave Dave alone. So, I, run, come, Boris, run, run. <laughs> I'll add 500. We're up to 2K. 200, 2200. Is this legal? <laughs> Seriously, we're paying. To watch to, so two people have sex. Um, <laughs> no, we're not. No sex. What? There, there's no sex no coming sex. from the fiance. No, he's not tonight. Oh, he's leaving the room. All right, we're done. I think he's just doing you got a content? Lap. We have 11 minutes of Who's got some slides? Anybody? Slides? Seriously. Slides. You got slides? Bring them up. I got slides. There you do? I can talk about cloud computing. Oh, fuck that shit. <laughs> No, no, your cloud anal con or whatever the. <laughs> waffle, who wants a waffle? All right, Q and A. We got nothing else to do. But all right, so Hacker Pyramid is in track four right after this. We highly encourage everybody to go. Um, we have hands up for waffles. Do we have any random questions you want? A uh, random collection? Yes, sir. Pyramid or, pyramid or Jeopardy? It's Pyramid. Jeopardy was last night. Next question. Next. What? Why don't we give you all beer? Because it's our fucking beer. <laughs> you gotta do something for the beer. What if are you, you gonna do, do for the beer? Creative with, do something creative with this whisk that involves your genitals. I'll give you a bottle of beer. It's all yours, dude. What? Why is there beer still up there that hasn't been drinking? Why is there beer still up here that has been drinking? I, everybody so else guy that is three times fucking wide as I am tall. You're asking me this question? <laughs> So, any, anything else, like, I don't know, about hacking or computers or Facebook? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 You, you may buy beer. $1,000. I need to see your ID. Let me get my Mac Stripe reader out. Yes. 20 bucks? It's going to the EFF. It's not going to us. Give it to Mortman here. He'll take care of it. Yes. Who wants to buy beer for the EFF? We have three pounds of M&M's, and uh, yes. No, there's only the one bottle of bacon beer, unless, do you have any more, guys? We have eggs, chocolate, and nuts. They have more they can auction off, but it's not on prem. What? Is it here, or is it in the room? So you have to go up to the room with that dude. <laughs> right. If you always wanted to have sex with Boris Becker, now is your fucking chance. <laughs> Tell me that it's a bar. Who's willing to auction? No, is anybody interested in this offer? Auctioning the beer, bacon beer for the EFF. 20 bucks? Hey, 20 bucks. Anyone else? Happy 25. finish, 25. Next, I got 25, 25, 25, and. This is like a gnome. All right, what? 30. 30, 30, 30 for the bacon beer. <laughs> this is so fucked up. It's not really bacon, dude. All right, anything? No, there's chunks, dude. <laughs> What's that for? There's soggy <laughs> bacon chunks in the beer. The beer tastes great, just don't eat the chunks. The beer tastes don't great, don't eat the chunks. I have said yeah, that that's before. That's what she said. <laughs> that was before the kid, the slice. Cute, right. right? Yeah, all right, there we go. All right, 30, anybody else? I got waffles. 40. 40. We got 40. Anybody on 40? 40 plus anything? Any, what the fuck did... I don't know how those auctioners go, and I'm drunk. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, Bacon beer may be a euphemism. So. <laughs> yeah, either way, it's worth it. So, Any other questions? Or, uh, okay, okay, we have like yes. uh, four more waf five, five we more waffles. We got some more waffles. And we, we, we have a special guest here. Special guest. So what's your decision? 
I will not be voting for Obama in 2012. <laughs> what was that? I will not be voting for Obama in 2012. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> when are you going to grow some balls? Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to raise more money for the EFF. We're taking um, uh, donations for to Mary Liz. Um, tonight. She's wearing so, an awesome sweeping dress. What do we got? Stand up. Turn around. Do a little. God, I am going to hell. And I don't even believe in it. So, Rich, doesn't she get a say in this? No, nah, it's all about the cash, no, I'm dude. I'm sure in Georgia. Or if you prefer you to have now. Dave. Next question, or... If you don't ask questions, we're letting you go. What? Is Greg Evans really here? Is Greg Evans really here? Does anybody know? No, because if he was, he would definitely be in the fail panel. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is an open invitation for Greg Evans. Open mic, open table, world's biggest hacker conference. You can prove your credentials. So, yeah. You can also bid on Liz. All right. Anybody, seriously, money for the girl? We're not there. 500. 500. All right. We're, we're making progress. It's for charity, people. It's got to be legal. Think of the children. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. really. Think of the fucking children. She's yeah, destroying herself like right for now. <laughs> Anything, uh, sir, what the fuck are you still doing in this room? You know we're done. <laughs> Any other questions? Anybody else want to do something? Was there a hand back there or are you yawning? Oh, you're touching your balls now. That's not good. <laughs> not in public. Back there, yes. <laughs> what? Somebody relay. Are you a lookalike for Seth Green? Am I a lookalike for Seth Green? <laughs> That dude's got hair. No, he's the a, Travelocity gnome. He's a fucking Travelocity gnome. I established this two years ago. Yeah. And I think his dick is, di dick is bigger. <laughs> dick he only is has bigger. one ball. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm fine. It, it works. Sniper. One shot, one kill. We did that before. What? <laughs> That's why they make clinics. Who wants a waffle? Waffle. Waffle yeah. there. Waffle there. Let me First fucking get up. it, you lazy cunt. I'm not fucking getting up here. <laughs> Is Nikita still in the room? Are we ever allowed back? <laughs> Next question. No. Oh, shit. Are we supposed to make her a waffle? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I have two left. Yeah. You forgot to make the pregnant chick a waffle. Shh. <laughs> That's high on the list of uh, things what? not to do. Seriously. Anything? We're done. Go away. Hacker Pyramid. Track four. Free 